and we are back to the longest running real estate radio show and mortgage information show in the country. I think in, in the, the world. world. I think in the world. In the I don't know anybody else has been doing it for 30 years like me or 25, excuse me, 25 years like me. I've been in real estate for 30 and we are giving you all your real estate information, all your mortgage information, how to get the best interest rate, what you can do to find your dream home. How do you get that dream home? I want to talk about something really important, Bruce. This is why you're hiring a realtor to sell your home. List price to sales price ratio. So you got a, you got our average house in Central Florida at let's just say three hundred thousand, the median price around three hundred thousand, and that house sells at three hundred thousand. That's a hundred percent of list price to sales price ratio. Now, a good negotiator in this market, I should have multiple offers on that. I'll probably sell that for about a hundred and three, hundred and four percent of list price, okay. depending on what's going on with my market maker program that I do. If you need information on that, I'll give you the number in a bit. But I'll see homes like that, Bruce, still selling at 97, 98% of list price when I do a market analysis. And I'm like, okay, that's not a good marketer. That's a realtor who's, you know, that negotiating book you told me about, never split the difference. Right. In real estate, I never split the difference for a seller. Never. I mean, that's about, that's what I'm doing. My job is to get the seller as much as possible and get it closed. So this is really important. The average for MLS, most homes right now are selling at anywhere from 90, let's say 98 to 99% of list price and there there's and actually right around 300 to 400,000 they're selling at about 100% of list price cuz that's our that's our hot okay. category. But I'm getting about 102 to 103% well compared to the rest of the realtors in town so, because of my marketing program, because of my experience. This is what people need to watch out for. And then so on the, the other $300,000 house that's what nine I'm getting 310. More? I'm getting 310. Yeah. yeah, I'm getting you know on average I'm getting I got I just got 330 on one, you know, cuz the way I I kind of talk to these agents and say, look, if it was my buyer, this is what I would do. Well, and, and you know so, what? If the house is in demand, you know, you can, we, appraisers can't keep up with value. And yeah. we're going to talk about appraisals because you asked me about that. One earlier, more thing real quick, then I want you to talk about that. this conversation. The, the one thing I want to say though, but all those companies out there saying, call us, we'll give you an offer on your home. That's 80% of market value. You know so what? be People careful on that. are so, they're so... Uh, yeah, and, and listen, I don't mean to insult you guys out there, but the general population is so easily persuaded to uh, buy into this fancy, very fancy commercials, okay? Like, yeah, yeah. they're convincing. Lots of marketing. Oh, yeah. you, oh, no showings. I don't have to do anything. Oh, buy to sell. Oh, it's so, oh, a fast closing? Well, convenience. How nice is that? Well, listen, how can any company, like Cleve and I's marketing budget is pretty darn small. Yeah. Okay. Like we don't spend a lot of money in yeah, marketing, yeah. right? But you look at these companies that you hear on TV, on the radio, every other commercial, if not every commercial Billboards, break has them. NASCAR teams. Everyone football has stadiums. Them, all over. Yeah. yeah. Where you think that money's coming from them because they're giving you top dollar? Where do you think the money's coming from? Give your head a shake. Mama didn't raise no fool. That's right. right. Yeah. So it, the money is coming by them lowballing you. And you get endorsements. I hear these endorsements. Yeah. Johnny and Ben, they sold their house and they were really happy with the process. That's because they were idiots, right? They didn't realize that they gave up $25,000 in sales price to sell their house. Of course it was easy. If you're going to give me $25,000, I'm going to make it pretty darn easy on you too. But here we're giving away the things that work the most for developing wealth. Don't do that. Don't be, don't be foolish. Call an expert. Call somebody that's been around for a long time. Now listen, these companies can tote that they're, they sell more properties than anybody around. Why? Because there's a lot of idiots around the country, and they just buy into the facts. I, now, now, listen, I'm not out here to insult anybody because I've been an idiot myself from time to time. However, I don't think that if you make something that easy, there's got to be a catch to it. And the catch is, and I know this for a fact because one of my own employees went through the process, and they, they gave them a fair offer. But then the day before closing, they recanted the offer and dropped it by ten grand. And that could stop. That's a true story. That's and, and that's a moving truck sitting in the driveway. That's 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 the family in tears on where are we staying tonight, and the dog going to the, the kennel for a couple of days, and you're staying at the at the Marriott. And who are you going to you going to call Cleve because Cleve didn't do the deal. You, who are you going to call the hedge fund? 
Who are you going to yeah, call? Yeah, when you're, the, when, you're talking to when, a call center. That's right. You're talking to a call center. So don't think that, listen, if it sounds too good to be true, it is. It just absolutely is. Call somebody that cares about you. Been in the neighborhood, lives in the neighborhood. We own homes in the neighborhood. My office is at 2729 West Fairbanks Avenue in Winter Park. I've been here for over 23 years in this same location. Mine's at 6000 Turkey Lake Road. Yep. Been so there, you, been there for fifteen years. And they can knock on our door. They can come see us. Yep. anybody, anybody. Yep. We got one of the receptionist there. things too. We have a you, receptionist. You I know that is. You don't see a lot of those these days, right? Now push one for English, two for Spanish. Push three if you want to talk. to I like that one commercial. Says so push three for Klingon. Yeah, for but Kling- <laughs> Bruce, I got some. I got an email here. I want first. I, I want your phone number four zero seven three five two eight one one eight three five two eight one one eight. Bruce, I got some questions from buyers. I got some people telling me, oh no no. You know, the old thing about, I need 20% down. They don't. We know that. But should I pay off all my debt? No. So expand on that. Okay. First of all, my phone number, 407-250-9144 or webringyouhome.com. Do not make adjustments to your financial situation until you talk to me first. I have seen so many people go out there and they go, oh, yeah, I paid off. I have a client right now, paid off a car. $42,000 $42,000 said, well, I knew it would make my situation better. Wait a minute. I had you qualified already. You could have paid the car off after I closed. Now you don't have enough money to close. Oh, shoot. I thought maybe I did. Well, you don't. Now you spent the money. You have no car payment, but you also don't have a house that you have to move out of next week or yeah. next month. Yeah. So don't do that. I promise you, I will guide you in the right direction. And sometimes I might say, don't do that. I'm not saying don't do it at all. I'm saying don't do it before we close. This is what realtors, this is important for your buyers. Bruce's team will take this, take intake the file, then look at it and tell them all these things. Like I've got next year, I'm going to 1031 exchange one of my rentals. Okay. I'm going to talk to you guys before I do my tax returns this year to make sure, because I'll probably step up. That's going to be a $300,000 sale. I'm probably going to buy, I'm going to exchange that for probably a $400,000 rental. Okay. So I just want to make sure that I'm a quality. The new mortgage is probably going to be about the same amount, but I want to make sure I'll qualify selling that one, getting another one. And we're also looking at a renovation loan on my house. Right. So things like that. You're going to look at that file. I'm going to talk to your team. They're going to tell me exactly what I need to do with my accountant before we do this. I will analyze every aspect of it. And for those of you that may not be familiar with what Cleve is referring to on a 1031 exchange, if you own an investment property, residential or commercial, but it's investment, not a primary residence, and you want to sell it, well, then you are subject to capital gains taxes on that. But you can defer the capital gains taxes by putting the proceeds in a trust, which is an escrow account for, uh, it's a special escrow account called a 1031 exchange. And then the proceeds from that have to all in their entirety go into the purchase of the new investment property. You can't use it for a primary either. And then what Cleve is doing is deferring his taxes to a later date. Now, there's pros and cons to doing that. Yep. In my opinion, there's pros and cons. And the first question I have to ask myself, are taxes going to be lower today than they are in 10 years from yep. now? And so now you may say they may be higher in 10 years from now, but I can make more money on a new investment but than I, I can my current one. But I can, you know, this rental I've got in 10 years or so when I head off into the sunset, maybe. Um, I, I hope not in 10 years. You're 10 still years. young. Yeah. I got a birthday coming up. The uh, I'm, I could 1031 this house, which would probably be worth $500,000, maybe right. five fifty. I can put that into a rental on the water in, in West Palm Beach, possibly a small little villa. Yes. And I could rent it for a little while, then yes. move into it and homestead it. You could. And then uh, cancel those capital gains. Now talk to your accountant. I'm not an accountant. I'm yeah, not, uh, yeah I, so. I'm not an accountant on that but either. But that can happen. But it you would be interesting that. if you are a CPA and you're listening to this and you want to give us a call, call us at 407-250-9144. Um, and we'll always take your call. We're always interested in, in somebody uh, giving us additional information so that we can inform you, our listeners out there. Yep. 
So uh, let's talk a little bit about some really cool things that have happened because I always like talking about interest rates being super low yep. and it's still a great time to refinance cash out, still doing lots of cash out refinances for home improvement, debt consolidation. But I wanted to talk about something else that was really cool. So up uh, uh, up till present, Fannie Mae sets loan limits that they will, you cannot exceed and still get a conventional loan. When you exceed that loan amount, you're into jumbo loans, right? Yep, yep. So Fannie Mae just raised their limit from $543,000 to $625,000. So now that doesn't come into play until January 1st, but guess who's doing them already? That's right. The loan arranger, he's doing, doing them already, wow. already doing them. I'm going to close them. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I just hold that loan. So then I can sell it to Fannie Mae. If I decide I even want to sell it come January, I'm able to do that. So I'm going to accommodate that right now. Now that put this in perspective, Cleve. What's that, that, what's, that new, what's that new limit? 625? 625. Okay. So now if you do the math, you could buy a home for $658,000 with only 5% down and get a conventional loan. Now, let's talk about, that's, a, that's great. I mean, I, I never thought in my lifetime I'd see a conforming loan amount at 658000 yeah. It tells you what the prices of homes are doing. But here's something else to take into consideration, Cleve. I love this one. And I'm going to tell you, if you're out there and you are, are considering a high-end purchase and you don't like pulling money out of the stock market, which I don't, Mm -hmm. I like minimum down programs. Yep. I have a jumbo loan. I, I just want you to stay seated on this. Don't stand up because you're going to fall over when I tell you this, okay? A, a jumbo loan. Yep. Up to a million and a half dollars. Rates in the 3% range. Yep. Hold on. 3, 3%? Okay. In the 3% range. Down payment. Three and a half percent down. Shut the front door. Shut the front door. Three and a half percent down. Now, what's what you're, you're a smart guy. What's a, a normal down payment on a jumbo loan? 20. 20 percent. I mean, you had some at 10 before yeah, COVID and things yeah, like that. And you yeah. probably still not. Obviously, you still got those I now. I still got those. Because now you got three and a half. I got three and a half percent down to a million and five. I got five percent down. And no to PMI. A million and 750. And no PMI. Because PMI would be seven eight hundred bucks on a loan like it that. It would be seven. That's incredible. No PMI. Because I've been rates. eyeing that house on the Butler chain. Yeah. So yeah, listen, yeah, so. and here's the thing: for people that want that, Cleve, it's a great opportunity for them to leave their money in the market. Now, this is not for people that don't have the cash. Well, obviously, you want people to have. They got to have a couple years reserves. They have right? to they have twenty four months change. cash yeah. reserves. Yeah. So if your payment's four thousand dollars a month, then you're going to need twenty four times four thousand dollars a month. Yep. Yeah. Right in reserves. You don't have to spend it. So you can keep it in the money in the market working for you like we are today. 407-250-9144. That's the loan arranger's phone number. That's my direct cell number. 407-250-9144 or webringyouhome.com. Had a client. I get these calls all the time, Cleve. I answer the phone and they go, is this the loan arranger guy? Yeah, it is. I can't believe you answered the phone. Yeah. <laughs> one guy, has, he says, I thought maybe one of your flunkies was going to answer the phone. I'm like, I don't have flunkies over here. Okay? You got a very good team. I got a great team, but uh, that's okay. Well, I'm the same person that comes to their house. I know you, you are. You want a market analysis, it will be me at your house. Absolutely. And if you want to get a hold of Cleve or any one of his buyer's agents, you can reach them at 407 352 8118. That's 407 352 8118. Or you can go to clevelovland.com. You can go to the webringyouhome.com. You can watch us on the Spotify. Yep. Okay. And I'm wearing a do rag today because it's Bike Toberfest and I'm wearing a pink shirt. <laughs> well, this is our turkey transaction month, too. We can still I'm wearing a pink shirt because it is Breast Cancer Awareness yep. Month. So I got the whole garb going on. You want to see us? Check out uh, Bruce Woodburn, the Loan Arranger uh, YouTube channel, iHeartRadio. You can't see us, but you can hear us. Yep. Spotify. Yep. My podcast on that. You can check us out there. We are here to serve your needs in this community and you can trust that Cleve and I time we got? will take great care of you. We got 10 seconds. Oh, okay. After the break, I want to talk about the Turkey transaction. Yeah. We'll close you 
fly. Oh, there's that toilet flush again. That wasn't me, you guys. That was Cleve. What are you doing with your soundboard? 407-352-8118. We'll be right back.